So today we are going to make Starbeam from the hit Netflix kids show. Take a moment, take a breath, make a plan and try your best. <sighs> so to start out, here are the colors we're gonna need to use today. We've got skin color, which for her is gonna be a light kind of peachy tan. We're gonna need some black. We're gonna need some white. We're gonna need some hot pink. We're gonna need some turquoise blue. And then we're gonna need a little bit of purple for her eyes, a little bit of brown for some details, and a little bit of dark blue for details. These are the Play-Doh tools that I like to use. I like to use a roller, some sort of Play-Doh knife or cutter. Make sure you ask a grown-up to help you with that part. This is great for small areas. This is great for even smaller areas. And this is one of my favorite Play-Doh tools because you can use this flat surface here or this rounded little ball surface here. So I'm gonna get my skin tone ready by mushing it all up, getting it nice and soft. And I love this show, my kids love this show. Zoe, the main character, is so cute, so strong, and my kids love watching her. I'm gonna roll it out to cut out Starbeam's face. Starbeam's face is a really nice circle. I'm gonna take this circle and really soften all the edges, because faces are round. They don't have those sharp edges. While I have my skin tone here, I'm gonna make Starbeam's nose, which is a pretty small little triangle. We'll take a little piece and start to form that little triangle nose. I will also go ahead and make her ears. So when I make ears, I like to take a little circle and then you can use your finger or a Play-Doh tool, something with a rounded edge I like to use. I like to push in from one side to make an ear shape, just like this. That way, when you put it on, you're gonna start to really see that ear shape. So we'll do another one on the other side, and then start to press it out, and using your, your finger or a little tool, you're gonna press off to one side, and there we have her ears. So let's work on making her mask. We'll take some of our hot pink, which is her signature color along with turquoise, and flatten it out and roll it out a little bit. And now we're gonna cut out the shape of her mask. I'm gonna start by making a big rectangle, and then I'm gonna mark out where I want to make the shape a little bit more detailed. And then I'll go ahead and cut it out, taking away the extra pieces. So when Starbeam is Starbeam, she wears her mask. When she's Zoe, she's just a regular girl, but when she becomes Starbeam, she becomes a superhero. So every superhero needs a mask. That's gonna look really cool. And now we can start putting her eyes on her. So we're gonna need some white, some black, and this purple color, because there's a little bit of purple in her eyes. So we're gonna take our white and we're gonna make two circles for the whites of her eyes. Then you're gonna take each circle and you're just gonna flatten it out and then you can fix any little cracks that come up. Now for Starbeam's eyes, they go in just a little bit in the inside. I'm gonna take my fingers and just pinch in the smallest bit to give it that special shape and then go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye. Now, on the outside of Starbeam's eyes, there is some black detail, kind of like some eyelashes, but it's just a straight line. So we're gonna roll out that long rope or a worm. I'm gonna make each one the same length. And then I want the ends to be a little bit thinner than the middle. So I like to roll at the ends just a little more so that the ends become a thinner rope than the middle part. See how it looks a little thicker in the middle and a little thinner on the edges? I'm gonna take each one of these and bring them right around to the outside of her eyes. And then I will do the same thing on the other side. Great, now we're gonna get the colorful part of her eye, which is that purple. And we're gonna make two balls again, just about the same size. We're gonna press them out, flatten them out, and then put them right on the whites of her eyes, closer to her nose. Then we're gonna take black for the pupils. So that's gonna be an even smaller circle. And we're gonna get two of those, and we're gonna flatten and then put right on. And then I always like to put that little white fleck into a character's eye because it gives them a little sparkle in their eye. So for that, we take very, very small pieces of white, smaller than you would even really think, like teeny tiny, 
and I am going to use my tool to put those right on. So to make Starbeam's mouth, we're going to take this brownish color, I'm going to make a ball and flatten it out, I want it to be more of an oval, and then I'm going to slice it in half, just a little bit more than half actually. And this is going to give me the basic shape for her mouth. I'm giving her a wide open, happy, smiling mouth. And then I'm going to give her a little tongue, which going to be that same color as her mask. I'm going to make a ball, roll it out into an oval shape, and then squish it. And then I'm going to cut that just about in half, a little less than half, and stick it right at the bottom. And then for her teeth at the top, I'm going to take some white, roll it out into a pretty thin worm. And then once you have the perfect length of that white worm, you're going to go ahead and stick it right at the top. And there we have her smiling, happy mouth. So now we want to make her hair. So the different shapes I'm going to make for Starbeam's hair are going to be the main hair here. We're going to do two little shapes to get the sides, and then we're going to do her two pigtails. I'm going to start by making the sides of her hair. For that shape, I'm just going to take two rectangles, and I'm going to cut them off at a little bit of a diagonal on the corners, just like that. I'm going to flatten them out just a little bit, and as I flatten them, they got a little bit wide, so I'm just giving them a little trim. And I'm going to take them right next to her ears and give her the sides of her hair. Now, I know this looks funny now, but just wait. The next part of her hair is going to be this top part, and she has a little bit of a hairstyle, so we're going to have to make that. So we're going to start by making a rainbow shape. That's going to be the basic top part of her hair. And now I'm going to make the style of her hair. I need to make one wave on this side and one wave on this side. And then in the middle, she's got a little piece of bangs. It kind of goes like that. Now, here is a little trick. See how if I just place this part of the hair here, it would flop backwards and kind of fall off, right? Because there's just space here. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of my Play-Doh and just make a simple worm. It doesn't have to be anything fancy because nobody will even see it. And we're just going to put it right here. And now it will hold up our hair right where we want it to be. So this is looking good. I'm just going to trim the edges. Now I'm going to make some lines to make it look like her hair. Now I'm going to make her pigtails that are going to go right here and here. So I'm going to take two pieces of black, roll them up into a ball so that you have two balls about the same size. And you can start to flatten them out to make circles. These don't have to be perfect because it's her hair and we're going to mush it around a little bit to make it just the way we want it. Now on each circle. I'm going to cut off a little piece to be flat to go right up next to her head. See? So they're going to be like that. Then I'm going to make a couple of cuts. And what this is going to do is this is going to let us make it look like her hair. So squeeze the ends and then you can just start to shape it into looking like her hair. You can do the same thing on this side. Just a few little cuts and then start to pinch those little cuts. And then I'm going to make a few lines. I'm going to make a couple of little star clips for her pigtails. I'll take a little bit of my bright pink, some white, mix it all up, and that'll give me my light pink. Now, I think that making a star is a little bit hard. So what I do is I flatten it out, and then I kind of draw my star onto the Play-Doh, and then that helps me cut it out. That's one way to do a star. Another way to do a star is to take your color and make a circle. And you flatten out your circle, and then you're going to cut out five little points. And then you just have to go around and make them all pointy. And there are her little hair clips. Okay, now I'm going to give Starbeam a little bit of neck because you're only going to see a little tiny bit of it. And that is just going to be one small little rectangle. And it's just going to go right up there. Something I want to point out here, if you wanted to make Zoe before she turns into Starbeam, you would just not put on this pink mask right here and put her eyes right onto her face. Um, she also has some little eyebrows up top that I would just roll a little worm and put right on top. And then you would have Zoe before she turns into Starbeam. Another thing you could do if you wanted to make Zoe before and after, so Zoe would be who she is on a regular day and Starbeam is who she is when she turns into her superhero self. 
I'm gonna show you how you would make some clothes for her as Zoe, and then I'm gonna show you how you would make her outfit when she becomes Starbeam. my turquoise, but it's kind of lighter than this. So I'm gonna take a chunk of this and I'm gonna take a big piece of white. And I'm gonna mix these up to make a little bit of a lighter color that we're gonna use for her dress. I love Starbeam's colors. Hot pink and turquoise, and then all the black and white. I think it is so cool. Once I get that all mixed up, I'm gonna roll it out and I'm gonna cut the shape of her dress. Now, usually when I'm teaching people how to make something in Play-Doh, I like to use a combination of lots of shapes that make up a bigger picture. But sometimes I just need to cut freehand and that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna cut her little nickel, her shoulders, and into her sleeves, under her waist, and out to her skirt. Next, we're gonna make the little jacket that goes on top of Starbeam's dress when she's in her superhero outfit. So I'm gonna roll out my white and I'm gonna cut two separate pieces, one for the left side of her jacket and one for the right side of her jacket. I'm gonna start by making a basic rectangle for both sides, flatten them out just a little bit, and then I'm gonna start to shape it. So the sleeves are gonna go in and then there's a little bubble over the shoulder. All right, let's see if these two shapes fit. Okay, now the other one. And on that jacket is a little detail that I'm gonna add. It's a little tiny dark blue design. Make a little one, right here. And then add a little bit of the turquoise below it. Next, I'm gonna do the detail that's right on Starbeam's chest. And that is her big star with a pink outline. So I'm gonna first do it in white and then outline it in pink. So this is gonna be tricky because a star shape is not so easy to make out of Play-Doh. So I'm gonna make a circle, flatten it out, and then I'm gonna start to create the shape of the star. The star on Starbeam's shirt doesn't have pointed edges. It actually has rounded edges. So that's what I'm gonna work on getting to here. So once I've worked to get this star the way I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that hot pink. I'm gonna roll it out or smush it out really, really thin. I'm gonna put this star shape right on top and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out an outline. And there are three pink lines that come out of the star that kind of make it look like a shooting star. So we're gonna make a very, very thin worm and cut three little lines. Next is gonna be her white belt. So I'm going to roll out some white and I'm gonna cut one strip that's gonna be the belt. So there's her belt. It has one long blue line going right through it, so I'm gonna make one long blue line to decorate it with. Use the dark blue. And then Starbeam has a little star right on the middle of her belt. We're gonna make a little circle, flatten it out to be the right size. And we're gonna see if we can make a little star out of this. But you can also just make a little circle and put the circle on the belt, and that would be perfectly fine. I'm gonna trim this dress just a little bit because I'm seeing that it's a little too big. Okay, now I'm gonna take black and I'm gonna use this for the tops of her legs and her arms because she wears a black bodysuit under her superhero outfit. So I'll start with her legs. We actually don't need that much because her boots are gonna come up pretty high. So I'm gonna roll this out. I'm gonna match it up so I can see exactly where I want her legs to be. Now remember, her boots are gonna come up over this. So this is just here for a placeholder for now. But you'll only really see the top. For her boots, we're gonna need the white and the hot pink for the details. So we're gonna take our white, 
I'm gonna roll it out and cut out Starbeam's two boots. I'm gonna do one boot and then the other boot. And now I'm just gonna use my fingers to mush this around to make the shape of a boot. So on the top of the boot, there's a little V design. And I wanna do that. I'm gonna do it for both. I can use my ink to do the details. So I'm gonna roll my pink out into a worm for the soles of her boots. So that'll go right on the bottom of her boots. And stick it right on, and then one for this side. Now we're gonna have a pink detail up top. I'm gonna cut this in half so I can use half of it for one side and half of it for the other side. I'm just gonna use something flat to make a point. And then she has little stars. So we're gonna have to make another one of those little stars that's pretty tricky to make. But remember, you can also decide that you just wanna do little circles, which will look just as cute. So you would make a little circle, you would flatten it out, and you put it right on her shoe like that. I'm gonna try to make a star again. So you start with two little pink balls like this, flatten it out. Now I'm gonna go back to that black to make her arms. So I'm gonna take my black, smush it up, start to roll it out, and I'll begin to make the shape of my two arms. Her arms are gonna be going in a V shape so her hands can be on her hips, so it's a very strong pose that she does. So I'm gonna make her upper arm and her elbow, and that's gonna go into her lower arm. And I'll do the same thing on this. Give her an elbow, and then this part of her arm. So I'm pretty close on both, and I'll mush them around to make them exactly how I want them to be. I like to round off my edges, since arms are round. Leave room for her hands right there. Round off on my edges, and I'll leave room for her hand right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give her her hands. So we're gonna go back to that skin tone, and I will rip off a little bit for this hand, and I will rip off a little bit for this hand. Now hands can be very tricky. And for hands, I generally like to make a circle and then I cut out all of the fingers and then I position the fingers wherever I think they should be. Now, don't make it too thin. Leave it a little bit thicker. And we'll make little fingers. And that's how I make a hand. And then we're just gonna use your fingers to fix these fingers. Take each one and kind of round out the fingertip. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is fun. It's Play-Doh. It's art. Okay, so there's one. Now, just remember to make the other one going in the other direction. So you have a left and a right. Okay, so there we've got two hands. Starving has her hands and her hips in the pose that I'm doing. So we're gonna start to curl her fingers under, which might make you wonder why did I even make them, but it's because I like it to look realistic. And to me, that's the easiest way to do it. I'm pinching off the end to make it go into a little bit of a wrist. Now, one last thing I would love to do before I give Starbeam her cape is to give her a few little details on her wrists. So I'm gonna take light pink, I'm gonna roll it into a worm, and I'm gonna take light blue, same turquoise. I'm also gonna roll that into a worm, and then another light pink on the other side. I'll squish it all together, and this will be one of her bracelets, right on this hand. And then on her other hand, I'm gonna give her another bracelet, just make it look a little bit different. I'm gonna roll it out into a worm, flatten it out, and then I'm gonna give a little bit of detail by making little circles. I'm gonna do hot pink, turquoise, and light pink. Okay, and I'll get this on her other wrist. Now, last but certainly not least, we have to give her her cape because she is a superhero and this superhero needs her cape. So I'm gonna roll out my hot pink. I'm gonna make it pretty thin. That looks pretty good. And I'm gonna make a cape that comes from her shoulders. So I need a rectangle shape that goes off to the side. And here's gonna be the tricky part. So now I have to get the cape under her. 
So I'm gonna pick up her body, move her over a little. It's okay if her little legs come off, we'll put them back. And we get the cape going. I think that'll be pretty good. Bring her back over, bring her legs back over. I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail over here to this other pigtail to show that she has something in that hair back there. There you go, Starbeam. Look, it's Starbeam! Next, we're gonna make Starbeam's best friend, Henry, who turns into Boost. That's his superhero name. We are gonna make him as Boost. So the colors that we'll need to use are a skin color, which for him is that same peachy tan that we used for Starbeam, dark blue, which we'll use for most of his outfit, a few colors for all the details on his outfit, which will be turquoise, lime green, purple. We're gonna need some brown, a little bit of red, some black and white, and then we're gonna need a little bit of a gray color. So I'll take some white and I'll take some black and I'll combine those to make a gray color. Now to make Boost's face, we're gonna take that skin color and roll it out. And we're gonna start by cutting out the shape of his head. I'm gonna round off the edges because our faces are round, right? They don't have sharp edges. While I have the skin to an ad, I'm gonna go ahead and make Boost's nose, which is a very small triangle, very similar to the one we made for Starbeam. So I made a small triangle and then I just pushed in the edges so that we didn't have sharp corners. And I'll put that right in the middle of his face. So for Boost or Henry's mouth, we're gonna need some white, some brown, and some red. So I'm gonna take a little piece of brown and I'm gonna roll it up into a ball and then smush it flat to create a nice circle. Once I have that circle, I'm gonna cut off the top and put a little bit of a dip into this top edge. And that's gonna give me the general shape of Boost's open, happy, smiling mouth. Now the two things that we're gonna need on this mouth are teeth and a tongue. That helps give the effect of his smiling, happy face. So I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna roll it out into a rope or a worm, and that's going to ultimately form the teeth. I'm gonna use a tool to help me push that in. I'm gonna take my red and I mix in just a little bit of the brown from the back of the mouth and just a little bit of white and that softens up that bright red so it looks a little more realistic for Henry's tongue. So I'm gonna take a small piece, roll it into a ball and then shape it into a little bit of an oval. I'm gonna flatten that out to make a long circle shape. I'm gonna cut that in half, and that will leave me with the shape for the tongue. It's like a semicircle. I'll take that mouth and put it right on off to the side to give him that fun, exciting energy that Boost has. To give Boost some eyes, we're gonna take two pieces of white and make little balls to flatten out to create circles, and that will be the basic shape of Boost's eyes. I'm gonna give each circle just a little pinch in towards the center to help create that shape of his eye. Then I'll take my brown color and make two smaller circles. I'll make those by rolling them into a small ball and then flattening them out. And then I'll take slightly smaller black circles to flatten those out to become the pupils. Then for the little flecks of light in his eye, I'm gonna take two small, tiny little white pieces of Play-Doh, turn them into little balls and just smush them right into the pupil. So to give the definition on Boost's eyes, 
We're gonna take some black and roll it out into a long worm or rope. And we're gonna cut it to create a length that's gonna go just around the outside of the eye. So I'm gonna take my two thin black ropes and just place them around the outer edges of the eyes. And then I'm gonna use my hand and my tool to get them into the exact shape that I want them. You're gonna to wanna to roll it out pretty thin and then roll a little bit extra out on the outer corners to make it get a little bit thinner at the ends. And that's gonna help you taper out that piece and tuck it into the sides of the white eyeball. Then we're gonna take some brown, roll it out again and cut it, but we're gonna flatten out this rope. We're gonna flatten it out so that we can make two small rectangles. We're gonna use those for Booth's eyebrows. Now I always say, eyebrows give expression. People don't really think about eyebrows that much, but especially on a character, eyebrows can really make this person seem happy or sad or angry or frustrated. So I never want to forget about eyebrows. I'm gonna give Boost his two ears. So I'm gonna grab that skin color again, which for Boost is this uh, lighter tan peachy color. And I'm gonna take two circles. I'll start with these two little balls. I like to use this tool for ears. It's my favorite tool to use. If you don't have one of these, you can use your little finger. It's a good size. So I'm gonna flatten it out just a little bit and then I'm gonna push only on one side, not the center of the ball, but the one side of it. And that gives a really nice ear shape. Put them right in on each side. I like to lift up the face to stick it right under. And there you have the ears. So when Henry becomes Boost, you don't really see much of his hair because he's wearing his helmet, but I'm gonna give him a little hair so that you see it uh, coming out of the helmet. So I'm gonna take some brown, I'm gonna make a little ball and then roll it out into an oval shape. Now I'm gonna press that down to make it flat and I'm gonna cut it right in half. Now I can use one side of it for the left and one side of it for the right and this is just gonna be the hair that you see coming out from under his ear. And I'm gonna do the same thing for his hair right up here above his ear but I'm just gonna use a little bit more. So I'll take my brown, roll it into a ball, and then I'm gonna make that ball a little bit more of an oval in a circle and flatten it out. I'm gonna cut that in half and I'm gonna use each side for a side of his hair. Now remember, sometimes it looks funny at first, but it's because something's gonna go over that's gonna make it look not so funny. So to help make it look not so funny is of course gonna be his helmet that's gonna go over this part of his head right here. So we're gonna start out with white for that. So to make the helmet shape, I'm gonna roll out my white. And I'm gonna start by cutting out the shape of a rainbow. And then I'll square it off on the bottom. And then we get this kind of semicircle shape or rainbow shape with a flat bottom. I always push in my corners for something that is gonna be round, like a helmet. Now I'm gonna cut out the center of it, just like this, leaving some thin sides and a thick top. And that's where his face is gonna go. Now, what do I love about Play-Doh? I love that you can cut out a shape and then measure where exactly you want it to be and then you can smush it around to make it longer, shorter, wider, thinner. It gives you such flexibility. I'm gonna have to trim it down just a little, but that's fine. So a little Play-Doh trick that I can show you. When you have something like this that you want to sit up, but it's kind of flopping down, I just take a little piece of Play-Doh, it doesn't matter what it looks like, and I put it right underneath, you're never even gonna see it, but it helps it to stay exactly where you want it to be. So to give his helmet some details, I'm going to use the turquoise color and this light gray color. I'm gonna take the light gray, roll out a little bit of a rope, and just give a little lining to the front of the helmet. I'm gonna measure it out so it's just the right size, and I'm gonna trim it so that it perfectly fits the front of 
Bruce's helmet, making it a little bit of the top of his visor. Next, I'm gonna make some details that are in his helmet. I'm gonna use my knife or my cutter, which we always use with a grown-up, and I'm just gonna cut in to make these little designs. For the top of Bruce's helmet, he has some of this light turquoise, and I'm gonna create that detail next. So I'm taking my light turquoise, and I'm gonna roll it out to make it thick rope. And then I'm gonna use my roller to flatten it out. Just a little bit here. Even out that bottom edge. And I'm gonna use my fingers to start pressing it right on to the top of his helmet. And I'm gonna trim off the excess. So moving on to Boost's body, I'm gonna give him his neck and then we're gonna move on to his outfit. So I'm gonna take some of my skin color and I'm gonna press it out and I'm gonna to start to cut out a rectangle for that neck shape. Boost wears a really cool superhero jumpsuit and it has lots of details on it, but the background is a dark blue color. So I'm gonna start with that and give the general outline and then we're gonna fill it with all these super cool details. So I'm gonna start with the top part of his outfit. I'm gonna to wanna to create a little bit of a neck hole on his shirt, then some shoulders and his two arms. One's gonna have his hand on his hip and the other is gonna have his hand up in the air giving a nice thumbs up. So I start by getting the general shape of that shirt and then I'm gonna go in after and push it around, smush it around, trim it where I need to to get it just right. And I'm gonna roll out my blue to make his pants. When Henry is Henry in the show Starbeam, he wears blue jeans and a white shirt. He wears kind of an open long sleeve shirt over it and his turquoise hat. And then when he turns into Boost, his outfit changes into this really cool blue jumpsuit with all of these special details. The detail I'm gonna start with for Boost's outfit are gonna be his three arrows that go right on his chest. So I'm gonna grab my turquoise, my lime green, and my white. And I'm gonna make the colors that are gonna be these three arrows right here. The top one is gonna be turquoise, the bottom one is gonna be lime green, and the middle one is going to be a mixture of the two. And then I might lighten them up a little bit with my white. I'm starting off with the top arrow and that's gonna be the light turquoise color. I'm rolling it out into a long rope or a worm, and I'm gonna create that upward arrow shape. I'm placing that right at the top, and then I'm gonna move on to the middle arrow. I'm gonna do the same thing by rolling out a long rope or a worm, and then I will create a smaller arrow shape to go right under the first one. Now that I have my top two arrow stripes placed, I'm gonna take my lime green color and make the little triangle at the bottom. I'm just gonna flatten out a piece of green Play-Doh and use a cutter to cut out my triangle shape, remembering that I can always adjust afterwards when I put it into place. Now I'm gonna take my turquoise color and give him his straps to his backpack. So I'm gonna roll out my color and I'm gonna make two long strips. I'm placing the straps over Boost's shoulders, just the way you would wear a backpack. And then I'm gonna trim off the edges. I'm gonna add a little detail to his strap, which is gonna be a small white square with a green triangle in it. And it's gonna go right over here on this side. My green triangle is gonna have to be super small to fit on that little white square. Okay, so I'm gonna make his belt, which is gonna go right over the seam here. And I'm gonna use this gray color, which I made from black and white. And I use this gray color for things that are gray or silver. I use the same color. Make sure that you use much more white than black to get a lighter color. I'm gonna roll this out, get it kind of smooth. And then I'm gonna cut a long strip or a rectangle out. And I'm gonna put it right over that seam. I'm gonna trim off the sides. And this is gonna be his belt. The detail on this belt is gonna be a little bit of green and then a little darker gray. So I'll take my green, pull it out into just a little rope, 
and that's gonna go right in the center and then I'm gonna trim it off on the sides. And then next to that are two little triangles, but they're a little bit of a darker gray, so I'm just gonna take my gray and mix it with a little tiny bit of black to darken it up to give a little bit of contrast for this detail. And then I'm gonna take that color, make two small triangles, and place them right in the center, pointed inwards towards that green line. While I have this light gray color out, I'm gonna make these two stripe details that go right over Boost's legs. So I'm gonna roll this out and cut two long strips. I'm gonna take each strip and place it right over the leg from the outer thigh down to the inner knee. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna grab my white color to start on Boost's knee pads and shoulder pads. So I rolled out my white and I cut two small squares. These are gonna be for the two shoulder pads. Then I'm gonna take my lime green to make a border around the shoulder pads. Generally, I would roll out a rope to make a detailed border, but this is gonna be so small that I'm thinking it might be best to cut it with my cutter. So I'm gonna measure how big my white square is. So now I have two green squares that are the same size as my two white squares, but I need the border to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna trim them each down. So now these squares will fit inside the bigger white squares. So I'm gonna use this tool that has a flat edge to cut out a square inside my square. So I'm gonna place these shoulder pads on the shoulders. But since I'm working with a combination of a 3D and flat image, it's not gonna go over the whole shoulder, so I have to trim it on one side just a little bit. There are his shoulder pads. And now I'm gonna give him his knee pads. So I'll start with my white, and Boost's knee pads are a kind of circle oval shape. So I'm gonna take two pieces and roll them into balls. So I'm gonna press out the two circles into flat oval shapes, and then I'm gonna decorate them with the same three colors that I used before. The turquoise, the lime green, and the mixture. This time I'm deciding to start with the lime green triangle first. I'm gonna take that middle color, make a long worm, and do that first arrow over the lime green triangle. I'm gonna place those arrows and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my turquoise and make the final up arrow. Now I'm gonna make Boost's hand. We start to see that design coming along for the two knee pads. Boost wears fingerless gloves that are the turquoise color. So I'm gonna use the skin color and the turquoise color to make his hands. So the way I've decided to go about doing his hands since he's wearing fingerless gloves is I'm gonna make the hand in the color of the glove and then I'm gonna add on little fingers after. So the way I like to make a hand is I make a round bottom and then I start to make cuts to form all the fingers. Now I'm gonna cut the tips of the fingers off so that I can replace them with my skin color. Now press these little fingertips into the gloves. But this is pretty tricky, so if you wanna make this, you can just go ahead and make turquoise hands um, to show that he's wearing gloves, or you can just do plain hands with no gloves, whichever you prefer. Now we're gonna show him giving a nice thumbs up. So we're gonna curl these four fingers around pretty carefully. I like to use a tool like this so that I can wrap the fingers around something. And then we're gonna want that thumb to go right up and down for a nice thumbs up. And now I can bring this hand and get it right into place. And then remember my little trick when I want something to be a little bit up, a little bit forward? 
I used some Play-Doh right underneath. Now Boost's other hand is gonna be shaped in a fist with his hand on his hip. So you're really not gonna need to worry about any of those finger colored tips on the cutoff gloves. You can just go ahead and make the whole thing turquoise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that hand just out of the turquoise. So once I get that basic hand shape, I'm gonna start to put it into the position that I want it to be in. Now last, I have to make his boots. So I'm gonna start off with white and then add the details. So I'm gonna start by forming a general boot or shoe shape, which is kind of like a big L. So I'm just freehanding this and making some cuts so that the boot can go around his legs and then also have this kind of tongue detail here, the tongue of a shoe. That's what it looks like on his boots. And then I'm gonna take my gray to give a little detail to the sole of the boots. And I'm gonna do a little down up cut. And I'm gonna place that right on the bottom of the shoe. And again, I'm gonna give a little down up. Now for the tip of his boots, I'm gonna use some turquoise and some green. And roll a little piece of turquoise out pretty thin. This will give a little blue stripe and then we're gonna put the green right on top. So now comes the green, we're gonna roll it out and then I'll place the green to make the green tip of the toe. Trimming off any extra to get that round toe at the front. Now the other detail that I'll do are the purple straps on his shoes. So I'm rolling out my purple worm and I'm gonna give two straps to each side. And there you have it, boost. Stopping troubles with bubbles, nice job. Starbeam sidekick from the Netflix show Starbeam.